Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. This time I'm going to be talking about the ZW ASI Air Pro, which I've just managed to get hold of to uh, have a play with. Um, and one of the most important things you're going to find if you do get one is to back up the micro SD card because that's really, really important. So I thought I'd uh, give you a little guide to show you how to do that on the Windows platform. Although I do mention the others as well. I say everything is stored on this micro SD card just here. And so you do need to make sure that you back that up. Okay, all the images are on there. All the operating system is on there. The license that actually gets it to run as well. So as soon as you receive your ASI Air Pro or even the original one, back the card up as soon as possible. Or make a copy. Better still, back it up and make a copy because if it gets corrupted at any point uh, while you're using it it's very easy just pull it one pull it out and put in the, the uh, copy so that you can just carry on without having to faff around trying to restore the card so back it up and make a copy okay the way to do that with windows is download and install win32 disk imager i'm going to put the addresses for these at the uh, bottom of the youtube page um there's the one for windows and for mac you used apple pie baker i've never used these before so i can't explain how they work and if you're using linux there's dd command or um there's a gui tool called Eacher, which will let you do that as well but i'm gonna, i'm a primarily a windows user so i'm going to show you how to back up and restore your card using the win32 disk imager Okay, so first thing you need to do is insert the uh, micro SD card into an adapter, just like that, and then pop that in your computer to back up the disk. And the first thing you're going to get as a Windows user is this little window is going to pop up and say, you need to format the disk in disk K before you use it. Do not click format disk, just click cancel, otherwise you'll scrub the disk and you'd have ruined the disk completely. Okay, so make sure you click cancel, do not format the disk, most important. Okay, and then go into your computer browser and identify which of the drives visible is actually the ASI Air disk. And it's one that says boot. Okay, so here it is, about 20 gigs worth and there's nearly 20 gigs so there's not a lot of data on there but it is crucial you back that up to make sure uh, you keep your asi air pro running nicely okay so once you've identified which disk it is you're ready to go so bear that number in mind so in this case it's drive f and then you run win32 disk imager here it is so we've started it out here uh, so a few things you need to do is check the disk selected under device here so we knew it was disk f so there it is in the drop down menu so make sure that one's selected and then click the blue file to choose where that backup's going to be stored so you need to choose where on your computer that backup will be stored and then once you click that blue folder you browse to the place where you're going to uh, back up your disk and in this case i'm putting it in downloads asi air pro backup and then type the name of your backup which you can see at the bottom of the screen here i call it asi air backup and then the date and then put make sure you put the date within the name so you know when you've done that that's why i do that and then right at the end put dot img because when you come to do the restore bit if it hasn't got dot img at the end of the name it doesn't recognize it so just make sure you put dot img as the file type at the end of the name so you can identify it's the asi air backup the date you did it and it's, it's a disk image okay click open and then check all your settings so that's it that's all ready to go so all we need to do is just check again that you're looking at the right device and you're backing up the correct disk check the location that image file name are correct so here it is so it's downloads asi air pro backup forward slash asi air backup there's date that i um 
put the name in dot img and then once i'm happy that's all okay should then click read and then you can see that it starts writing the file and it does take all, quite a while a slow process so you just got to be patient while it's progressing through there and it takes nearly an hour to do that as you can see down here okay so just sit patiently wait for it to do its thing and when it's finished you'll get this little pop-up which will say okay just click the okay button and that's it click exit you're fully backed up ready to go just, just just go and have a look where your backup should be just check the name and you can see it's nearly 30 gigs which is uh, what we uh, expected and the date it was made and there you go that's it all done job done you've backed up your micro sd card to make sure that if you have problems later you can just switch it out now we need to go about restoring the micro SD. So it's a little bit of a reverse of what we've done before. Okay, again, Win32 Disk Imager is the one I use. So black, blank micro CD card, of course, plug it into an adapter, just like we did before, and then pop that in to your machine. Do you need no need to format the disk because what we're going to do is going to format it and put the files we want in there so, but it does it's not crucial at this stage whether you format it or not but you just don't want that extra hassle just just click cancel and then away you go okay open the win32 disk imager and check this is the cd sd card for the copy so you're going to put it to this sd card that you've put into the machine which hopefully should be the same as the one you took out i click on the blue folder again and then browse to the folder to find where the disk image is that you stored for your card okay there it is and this is where that dot img is important because if that wasn't there you wouldn't be able to see it in the preview there okay so select the one you want and click open and then just check you've selected the correct backup it's going to that device so leave everything else as it is there check the name click right and then it gives you a warning click yes if you think everything's okay do you still want to continue but just make sure that your target device is the correct one before you go you don't want to be overwriting something that you're going to regret later so make sure you're okay and then if you want to continue click the s button and then that will start writing to the sd card again it could take a while and you can see it's taken nearly an hour to do that so just be patient it will progress eventually go off and make have a cup of tea or whatever and then eventually you'll get right successful click ok and then click exit and you're done so there you go so you should now see in that drive it should say boot as the previous card did the original card would have done and that should now work in the asi air and the way to do that is to swap the discs pop it in the asi air switch it on and if you get the beep after a little while it successfully um, restored the backup to the disk and so you've got a backup ready for when you get might get problems later hope that's helped if it has please like and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel take care folks bye